guys. Happy Sunday morning. It's 9.26 a.m. Sunday, July 9th? 9th, I think. I think yes. 9th. We are starting off our Sunday morning doing something we haven't done since before COVID started. Yep. We're going to the gym. Oh, God. It's not my favorite place to get exercise. I'd rather just walk the neighborhood, but... You know, it's nice to be able to have that option when uh, weather sucks, basically. If it's going to be, you know, 100 degrees outside, that's not when I want to go walking. If, you know, it's really stormy out and it's not safe to go walking. Today, none of those are true, but we did know we need to bite the bullet and just start going back to the gym at least once a week. Go back. Go back to a routine. Yeah, back to a routine. So we are going to start our Sunday morning off doing that. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll be back. everybody it's 10 17 ish a.m monday july 10th <clears throat> i have more crocheting to do because i'm working on a couple different crochet projects I've got video editing to do i kind of want to film a video and get that edited too and um just a day at home my <laughs> my stomach is very gurgly this morning i don't know why but you know anyway um it's gonna just be quite day at home i have projects to do things to get done i'm babysitting tomorrow and so he comes in around lunchtime so i have today and tomorrow morning to get stuff done and then the rest of the week's pretty busy so i guess i should get to it i'll be I back i haven't edited any video <laughs> Oh, I was too busy making a bag I wasn't intending on making today. <laughs> now I've got to clean up that and the sewing machine and the thread on the floor, turn off some lights, and maybe grab a snack and then get to editing because the editing has got to get done. It's okay, I've got time. I'm only halfway through the day. All right. So I'll it's like 7.30. It's a little bit cold. I'm putting on sleeves. AKA a coat might not have been a super great idea, but it would be the first time I took it off and tied it around my waist. Anyway, we're gonna go get a few steps in, uh, but I'm with him, so that means he won't be able to walk as fast as usual, but, or probably as far. So I have to take my time. Oh God. Slow down. Yes. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in and then go back. Hopefully I can get the last couple rows done on the baby blanket tonight and then I can work on the edging tomorrow but we'll see I'll be back have I vlogged it all today <laughs> I don't think so it is Tuesday ja not January holy cow July 11th and junior just went home and because today was a babysitting day and I haven't got a whole bunch of stuff done today although I did get some lace dyed for next upcoming recycling project which is a coat and whether I dye the coat also or not I'm not sure yet I don't think so but we'll see um anyway I'm gonna sit and finish the baby blanket I'm working on have some water and a snack because watching little ones even if they're only a couple months old it takes a lot out of you so anyway we'll go walking when Bob's off of work and then we'll see what we get what else we get up to I don't know yet I'll be Morning, everybody. It is 11.10 a.m. Uh, Wednesday, July 12th. Pretty sure. Anyway, I had counseling this morning and did a couple of chores. Now we're going to go out and run some errands. I did dye some lace yesterday for my next upcycling project and it came out a little too red. So I have it soaking right now in some gray dye. We'll just take a chance. We'll leave it soaking in there until I get back. It might turn out too gray, but we'll find out. Um, right now it's too red, so gray would be better. Anyway, 
Okay, all done with our errands. I found a couple things at Goodwill, a couple things at Value Village, and a book for Mr. Bob. I think he's gonna like. I also got the groceries I needed. Check the P.O. box. By the way, if y'all want to send me happy mail, I do have a P.O. box. Address is down in the description. Anyway, I am starving to death to the point where my stomach's kind of nauseous. So that means it's time to go home and eat. My counselor and I, of course, are talking about my me mental and physical health and well-being. And um, she reminded me I've been wanting to try coconut water. I heard it's really good for you. I don't have any idea what it tastes like, but I do like coconut, raw coconut. So... We'll see. I got some at the store. Also, for the first time in a really long time, I was a little creeped out at the thrift store. <laughs> Had some young man, who I'm sure was young enough to be my son, come up behind me and say, hey baby. I'm sure he was talking to me because there was nobody else around but him and I. So, I said, I'm fine. And I went back to putting my nose into the shelves and what I was looking at, and then ignored him. It was weird, you guys. It was very weird. So anyway, I am gonna go home now. <laughs> it's time to go home. I'm done dealing with humanity. <laughs> All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so this is for another upcycling video. We're gonna start working on that blazer. So you've seen this blazer hanging on my mannequin for a bit now in the vlogs. I've talked about it. I paid about five bucks for it recently at a thrift shop. And I don't think it was ever worn very much because one pocket was still sewn shut. Okay, you guys, I, once I got home from errands, was sewing and sewing and sewing. I'm <laughs> working on the jacket. I am filming it for YouTube. Um, it's seven o'clock. I lost track of time. And if I hadn't had taken a glance at the at my watch, I'd probably still be sewing until, until the jacket was done. Probably. Uh, yeah. I tend to be obsessive about things a little bit. Yeah. Anyway. We should eat dinner, and I think I'm thirsty. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 10.27 a.m. on Thursday, July 13th, I think. And I'm going to head out to run a couple of errands, and then I've got to pick up my sister at the airport. My dad is driving down from his house today also. We're going to do family dinner night tonight with them. And... And then dad takes off tomorrow for Florida. Well, Chicago and then Florida because he's going on a cruise with my sister, Karen, my other sister. And Elizabeth is going to be helping our niece, Katie, move. She and her family are moving. So she fl she's flying in today from Utah to help move. There's a lot of stuff going on, can you tell? So I haven't got any sewing done today. I might not get any sewing done for a couple of days on the jacket, but that's okay. I can stare at the pieces I have pinned to it and make sure those are what I want to do, which I'm fairly certain the answer is yes. And um, just be double sure before I take it any further. And yeah, it's all good, all good. So anyway. <clears throat> I got my water, I got my wallet, got my keys, got, I'm all good, I think. I got my small tablet so I can read while I'm waiting for my sister's plane to get in. So, anyway, we're going to go run a couple errands and then I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning, July 13th, I think. Oh, Friday the 13th, oh. Anyway, uh, maybe it's the 14th. I don't remember. It, it's Friday. Uh, it's 9.16 a.m. We just dropped my dad off at the airport. 
He is headed to Florida to meet up with my sister and her family, my sister Karen, and um, they are all going on a cruise, I think to the Bahamas. And uh, this is my fir dad's first trip a vacation like this out of the country. In his 84 years of life, he's never been out of the US. So yeah, anyway, I'm very excited for him. He's gonna have a good time, I think. Uh, now I have to make my way home. So far, traffic's not been too bad. Cross your fingers, it's still that way on the way home because Portland traffic's been horrible lately. So, but we'll see, uh, I don't know. All right. I'll be back. So my sister is still working and when she's done, we're going to go out for a bit. But while I am here with some quiet time, I decided to rearrange my trims and doilies a little bit because this stack of drawers was traditionally yarn and embroidery floss. At least that's what I thought was in there. I went into one of the drawers the other day to get something out and realized there's a bunch of, bunch of ribbon in there. And it's not the thin silk ribbon I use for embroidery. It was just, yeah. So, plus we had these bins over here. Where are we? Here. They were like overflowing. I couldn't, the do bin with the doilies in it had lots of other stuff in it. I couldn't find what I wanted. It was just a mess. So, I consolidated some of the yarns and things at the bottom. So it freed up a drawer, a whole drawer at the top, which I then put all the ribbons and trims that were over here, over there. Then I had an empty bin, a whole bin over here. So I separated out the sort of netting and vintage fabrics from the lace and doilies. Yes, I have a whole bin of lace and doilies. And that's after I've used a bit. So it's all separated now, easy to find. Yeah, loving that, all right. I'm gonna sit and have some water now, wait for my sister to get finished, and then we're gonna go run a couple of errands and I'll be back. We are leaving my niece's house and we help them pack a bunch of boxes in the garage. Um, we can't help pack the pod because it's not here yet. Um, but we did do a lot of stuff in the garage. I'm a hot, sweaty, dusty mess. So anyway, we're gonna head towards home. Not sure what else we're gonna do today, but I'll let you know, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 9.16 a.m. Sunday, July 16th. Yes, I forgot to close the vlog. <laughs> Yesterday was a very busy, hectic, stressful, well, not stressful, um, exhausting day. Uh, we helped do some packing at the niece's house and drove home and then Bob got a call. Can he come help today, tomorrow then, today um, at daughter's house with some of the construction going on over there which we didn't know he was doing which meant that after dinner we had to go grocery shopping because we were going to do that this morning it was just a crazy busy day needless to say i forgot to close the vlog anyway some of that's for next week's vlog it has been a great week not as productive as i would like but you know what life happens 
I did find another interesting free pattern on the internet, which I'm printing out right now. I also picked up a couple of cool things at the thrift recently. This last week with my sister, um, one of them is a jacket. Uh, it's middle of summer, 90 to 100 degrees out, and I'm making jackets, which, yeah, it makes no sense, but that is what it is. All right, anyway, I hope you like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys have had a great week, that you've had a creative week, that you've enjoyed your week. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. Check out the video description, and Above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.